Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Nintendo Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Borderlands 3, the Ultimate Edition, on the Nintendo Switch. And this is by far one of those impossible ports to the Nintendo Switch. I wasn't expecting to see this game on a Nintendo Switch console. It's uh, pretty insane that they could, yeah, demaster it that much to fit on a Nintendo Switch and to run somewhat decently, but more on that later. Let's get into it. First of all, the game is 23.6 GB on your SD card if you download the game from the store. It's included all the DLC that came out for it. So you got all the DLC packs. If you buy the standard game, you can get everything with this package and i think it's like 60 euros or something so it's not even that expensive if you think about it because it's a lot of work to make this game run on a nintendo switch and you get all the dlc that ever came out for it so you got the ultimate experience on the nintendo switch let's go start it up you guys if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you're really helping out the channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a weekly basis new games old games updates on games sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there also big shout out to the people at 2k games for sending me a key to this game so i could test it out on my channel um yeah Loading, I really hope the next generation of Nintendo consoles will add a uh, SSD version or something like that to reduce the loading time because these are insane. <coughs> it really is insane. So, here we have Borderlands 3 on a Nintendo Switch. How insane is this? This is like, what? I, I call games like these impossible ports, you know, uh, The Witcher 3, Doom Eternal, uh, stuff like that, in my opinion, are all impossible ports. How could they get these games running on a, a yeah, really, 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 really slow system? Buddy, it's it's insane in my opinion. Yeah, they they awesome. knocked it out of the park. Can I get a car already? You'll need to replace that circuit sure. with something. Hmm. You know, some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. I think we'll get used to no, I just first need to go to El. It's the way. But oh, by the looks of it, in docked mode, good. that's uh, what you're seeing oh, right I now. Uh, the game runs at around 720p at a open frame rate so it goes everywhere between 30 and 60 fps i noticed that in most of the time it's around 40 fps that you hit with this game but oh my goodness so i think i'm gonna find my little girlfriend here now remind me my little what girlfriend Ellie. My my. Uh... God Queen Tyrene will drink soon. <laughs> the humor is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my bad finger slipped. <laughs> oh howdy! Didn't see you there. You know these animations are great, by the way. I heard y'all were in the neighborhood. And in handheld mode, it looks to be running at like 540p at also upwards to 40 FPS. It's an open frame rate still. And yet they dumped down a lot of the game. So like there's no shadows anymore and uh, a lot of light effects are dumped down. Also, the draw distance is not that high. <clears throat> Textures pop up a lot. And you know what? That's to be expected. I wasn't expecting anything else. It's an impossible port. And... Uh, 
I wasn't. Oh, there's one of my friends. Hello. And bye. But now, it even has this. Uh, some people really like it. I must say, it's it's not that bad. Um, you can aim with motion controls, and that works actually pretty fine with some games. Even this one. Oh my goodness. It's not bad at all. You really need to learn to play like that. What's that? Ah, you found a human spy. Like human you spy. Right in on <laughs> Give it a try. Take a vehicle. Hijack. Shotgun think. <clears throat> Here we go. And it looks great. It plays great. And I'm, I'm actually very, very, very positively surprised at how well this game actually runs on the Nintendo Switch. I wasn't expecting this at all. You know, it even had some troubles when it first came out on uh, Xbox Series consoles and PlayStation 5. It had some frame drops here and there. So, to see this game run this well right now on the Nintendo Switch is quite, yeah, quite amazing. I'm not gonna lie. And it's also a really fun game. If you haven't played it yet, go play it. It will take you hours upon hours upon hours upon hours to actually complete this game. There's so much to do, you have no idea. The content is insane. You can even play it online with a friend if you want. Keep in mind that if you want to play this online, you need... Nintendo, uh... <clears throat> Nintendo Plus. Nintendo Online. Oh, one of my dogs wants some attention. Here we go. Vehicles. Let's go. Let's see if we can kill that other driver. It's been a long time since I played this. Oh my goodness. Almost, almost. Almost got him. Where are you going? Get over here. These light effects are not that bad. Here we go, that's one. Kill the fanatics. You see those those animations are way smaller. Is he standing still? That's a dummy. Now let's go back. It looks great. That was Big, big. And we got it. The car. All right. 
But yeah, you guys, this is Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition on the Nintendo Switch. It's out right now. It's only 60 euros with all the DLC you can uh, can imagine. And it's a lot of fun. It's such an amazing game. And uh, uh, yeah, go check it out. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.